now with the class. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Tell me um, in the chat section or turn off your microphone. How are you? I don't know. I don't know if you hear me okay. I have issues with my internet. Osvaldo, why? Carolina. I'm okay, thank you. Good, William. Uh, Osvaldo, I'm so good, happy to be here with you. What about the other ones, your classmates? So good, I'm pretty good. That's nice, I'm glad to read that. Everything is good. Okay, Gabo, great. Let's see about so we are <laughs> um I understand you Oswaldo, but we have classes today. Sorry. Doing good, great. Enrique, so good so far. That's nice. Roxana, very well, good. Uh, good and you, I'm okay. I'm happy. Okay, I wanna increase my team, my learn. Sorry. Great, Osvaldo. Okay, we will start with the class, and the topic for today is. There's a seed paragraph. Milka, good. Ivelis, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Ivelis or Ivelis, but I'm glad to read that. Okay, as I said to you before, the topic for today is there's a seed paragraph. It's all good. And Sorry, I have issues with the and the content for today are a question and the development of the topic that is persuasive paragraph. And I have a question to you. What do you consider that is persuasive paragraph? You can search an answer in Google and write it in the chat section. What do you think about Persuasive Paragraph? Tell me about it. What do you think? Let's see the chat. A paragraph intends to pursue the reader's mind. That's good. Uh, it is a paragraph in which it tries to catch the attention of the reader. That's right. That's so good. Milena, the paragraph is the one that influences the mind of the reader. That is, first is the goal here. That is a good point. A persuasive paragraph is intent to convince the reader to believe in something. That's right. That's right. It's when we try to convince someone about something by a paragraph. Good opinion. Let's see the other ones. I think that arranged to get the reader to accept a point of view of the reader's position on a topic. Good. It is a paragraph that try to convey to read it there. That's so good, guys. Thank you so much for your 
opinion. Now, let's see, let's move the presentation. Here we have the definition about what is perfective paragraph. Someone can help me to read, please, the definition of the topic for today. May I? Yes, you can do it, thank you. What is persuasive paragraph? A persuasive paragraph tries to convince the reader that a particular point of view is worthy of consideration. It wants you to consider both sides of an issue, but it reveals, um, I don't know how is the traduction of this, how is the pronunciation of this bias, I don't know, in favor of one side over another. Facts may be presented in support of a position, but the writer is not being objective. Thank you so much. Okay, as the definition says, uh, the first paragraphs, we need to put attention about this, tries to convince the reader that the particular point of view is worthy of consideration. As you write in the chat section, uh, this type of paragraph is to convince to the reader to do something or to believe something. And let's move the, the slide. And what is the purpose of Persuasive Paradox? Someone can help me to read, please. May I? Yes, you can do it. All right. Uh, what is the purpose of persuasive paragraph? The main purpose of any persuasive paragraph is to convince readers to believe in an idea or opinion and to do an action in order to complete it properly. One should provide the necessary evidence and information with clear details for a better understanding to the reader of the persuasive paragraph. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, as the definition about what is the purpose, we need to convince to the reader to believe an idea or opinion. As I said to you before, um, we can create different paragraphs in which the objective of the paragraph uh, need to be to convince to the reader to do something or to believe something. Also, we need to add uh, clear details um, in which um, we explain in the best way as we can do to a better understanding to the reader of the Persuasive Paragraph. And what makes a great Persuasive Paragraph? Okay, here are the keys to write a Persuasive Paragraph. One, before you begin. Two, while writing. Three, once done. Four, do's. And five, don'ts. Okay, we have different definitions about the points. And here we have, before the beginning, someone can help me to read this. Me? Uh, yes, you can do it. What, what makes a great persuasive paragraph? Before the begin, think, think, and think before diving into writing the essay. Take some time off to study the subject and for a definite opinion. Take a stand and do some research. A question when reserved from a clear perspective will give you ample facts and figures to lay your opinion entirely. Try and identify your audience and decide on the style writing and the events that will best appeal to them. Thank you so much. Okay, here we have a key about how to do a purchasing paragraph. 
we need to think over and over and over, think, think, and think about what we want to transmit with the purchasing paragraph. Because um, we can create uh, a purchasing paragraph in which the object is not to convince to read it, to do something. Um, we need to take some time to think about one topic or to write something that can be clear and understandable to the reader. And here, here we have the second one that is while writing. Someone can help me to read, please. Just one. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do it. Thank you so much. While writing a persuasive essay, like any essay, must be a structure. It must have the introduction, followed by the body and the conclusion. Choose your work carefully and keep your sentence short and straightforward. Longer sentences often confuse the reader and fall ineffectively delivering the message. But it's the same with factor or experiences. Sequence your data to conclude. Choose word and phrase and your conviction about the subject. Thank you so much. I have a question. I don't know if you hear me correctly or I have issues with my connection. Someone can tell me about it. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you so much. Okay. Here we have something important. Uh, we need to create a perfect uh, essay or Sorry. Okay, and it must be a structure. It must have a clear introduction. So it's like um, the topic that we developed the week number nine. We need to, to add a clear introduction, follow, and we can do sentences to describe the purchase paragraph. And finally, we can do a concluding sentence in which we explain the final of the purchasing paragraph. Here we have one done. Someone can tell me to read. Other one, not the persons that read. Someone. I can do that. Thank you. Okay, one make a great persuasive paragraph. Once done, read, 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 and revise. Make sure that all sentences are grammatic, grammatically, grammatically correct and don't have any spelling or typing errors. Make the necessary edit. Try to be sure about what you write. It is important that you read all the paragraph to have a good purchase paragraph. Thank you so much, Bella. Okay, here we have something important too. We need to read and read again and revise the purchase paragraph when we have all the ideas connected. Uh, just to be like sure about we have a good purchase paragraph in which we can transmit the message easily because it is important that we um um how i can say that um write different opinions or sentences in which we try to 
transmit the message in the best way in which the reader can convene easily and try to be sure about what you write. That is important. That is too important because uh, we can, um, as I said to you before, create a personal paragraph in which we don't do something to convince to the reader. And here we have those. Someone can help me to read that, please. Me. Thank you so much. Dus. Number one, use word and phrases that will highlight your convictions. Number two, maintain an uniform tone. Number three, structure your statements and place them to reach out the conclusion seamlessly. Number four, back each statement. Thank you so much. Okay. In the point one, we have used words and phrases that will highlight your conviction. We need to create or use different words or create short sentence, for example, in which we do or we need to transmit or convince to a reader to do something. And the two is like when we are talking about or to telling the person the paragraph, I mean, and we need to maintain a uniform tone. We can uh, like um, try to convince some someone. Sorry, if we are loud, we can do it because the person say, "Oh, that is a big lie," or oh, "You are a liar." And three, uh, structure your statement and place them to reach the, uh, the conclusion scene. Okay. So we have done. Someone can help me to read, please. Someone. Don't be afraid to do it. Okay. One avoid it. being okay, thank you. Do it, do it. Okay, don't avoid being casual and don't go overboard. Number two, avoid using hair gun, a flesh, and a negative. Number three, don't be low. As I said to you before, we need to use a good tone in which we explain the first paragraph in the best way. For example, we have done below. We can do that. We can try, try to transmit the message in the best way that we can do it. Sorry, I have issues here. And here we have a will writing persuasive essay along with adherence to the necessary structure and guidelines of essay writing must be reflect the knowledge and convention of the writer. Remember the time you successfully persuaded your friend to agree with your opinion. Someone of you can answer that question about if you remember the time that you successfully persuaded your friends to agree with your opinions. Some of you um, like convince to a friend to do something or to believe something. Did you do it one time or not? Right in the section of the chat if you can turn off the microphone. Did you convince a friend 
to be agree with your opinion. I will read your opinions about that question. No one? Then you are telling me that you never convince to a friend to do or to believe something. You never do it. You can answer in the chat. No one? <laughs> I don't remember anything. Are you sure about it? Are you sure that you never convince to a friend to do something? Okay, here we have an example about how to create the purchase paragraph. And someone can help me to read the example of the purchase paragraph that we have here. May I? Yes, you can do it. Thank you. A. A school uniform should be mandatory for all students for a number of reasons. B, first they make everyone equal. In this way, the rich kids are on the same level as the poor ones. B, in addition, getting ready for a school can be much faster and easier. B, many kids waste time choosing what to wear to school and they are often unhappy with their final choices. B, most important, some studies show that school uniforms make students perform better. C. Many people might say that uniforms take away from personal freedom, but I believe that the benefits are stronger than the drawbacks. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, we can uh, like the same format to create a uh, versus the paragraph here and the letter A says, introduce your versus paragraph with a topic sentence describing a little bit about the topic to explain your thesis. And in the example we have, a school uniform should be mandatory for all students for a number of reasons. Okay, here we are introducing the sorry introducing the the topic that we are describing in the purchase paragraph that is the that the uniform should be mandatory for the students you can create a different sentence to uh, transmit try to transmit the message like in a simple sentence like that in which the reader uh, have an idea about what is the objective of the purchase paragraph. And the letter B, we have create different sentences in which you can detail your purchase paragraph with clear details to convince to the reader. Okay, here in the example we have, first, they think everyone equal. In this way, the rich kids are on the same level as the poor ones. Here we have a sentence in which we add clear details. Uh, with that sentence, I think that the reader have an idea about what is the message of the person that he or she are 
reading in that time. And also we have, in addition, getting ready for school can be much faster and easier. Many kids waste time choosing what to wear to school and they are often unhappy with their final choice. And in the letter C of the format, we have write a concluding sentence to explain the final of the purchases paragraph about what you think of the topic. As I said to you before, we need to create a concluding sentence to explain or final of the purchase paragraph. And in the example we have, many people may say that uniforms take away from personal freedom. But I believe that the benefits are stronger that, than the drawbacks. Here we have uh, like the final of the purchase paragraph. And here, here uh, we have the like the steps about how to write a purchase paragraph in the best way. It's too easy to be honest. Just we have to have a good idea about what we can write. And here we have another example. Someone can help me to read the example, please. Just one. Remember that your participation is taken into account. I can do it. Okay. Hey, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, because, uh, letter A. The cat school summer carnival in January is a special event everyone should attend. Letter B. First of all, there are activities for everyone. This year, one classroom had a fish pond for little kids. Uh, letter B. Another room painted a clown with a hog mouth. And a board for a big bean bag shoes. Other rooms had shoes, scrambles, and relay races. Secondly, each room gives prizes like gels, back eyeglasses, and light up pens. Letter B, winning a prize always adds a little, a little excitement to each activity. The best part is the clown constant. Letter B, it's pretty funny to see how students become clowns using old clothes, face paint, wigs, big clunky shoes, and wheel ties. Adults and kids love and love on the clowns. And the letter C, for the little summer fun in general, uh, the school carnival is worth a visit. Thank you so much. Okay, here we have the same format about how to create a purchase paragraph. That is introduce your purchase paragraph with a topic sentence, create different sentence in which you can detail your purchase paragraph and write a concluding sentence to explain the final of your purchase paragraph. They are the same. And just the, the example is, about how we can create a purchase product. This is just an example. And here we have the complementary resources. I put a video and a web page to see if you want more information about purchase product. And here we have the activity. Okay, it will be writing and the instructors are, after attending the conference, read the structure for the activity of the week, create two purchase paragraphs with clear details about these topics, just the topics that we have here, that are, should college education be free? Does social media improve or harm our society? And three, should students be allowed to have phones at the school? And is legalizing marijuana 
a good idea. And the last one is, is climate change wheel. Oh, remember that, choose one topic to talk about. Choose one topic of the topics that we have here, that I think that they are six. And follow the guidelines of, on the presentation, do it in a Word document and include a professional cover page. Remember that we need to do the first paragraphs as in the example I showed you before. That is the form that we, we need to create these paragraphs to this activity about the topics that we have here, sorry. Do you have any question? Uh, me. Yes. We are going to use two topics, one for each paragraph or one for uh, both? No, um, <clears throat> um, I think that here we have a mistake. Um, I think that you can use um, two topics to talk about, sorry. It was a mistake. Okay. Write about two topics. Do you have Wait, I, I have a question to, uh, with respect to the topic we have to convince that is good or that is not good. Uh, if is if is good try to convince to someone else or not one that example is... with the topic that the they say it is legalizing marijuana a good idea we have to convince that is good legalizing marijuana or not good i think that uh, you can write it in the idea that you have because uh, marijuana sometimes is like medical, I think. Uh, Carlos, uh, I'm gonna help you there, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah. So to that question, I mean, if you think that legalizing marijuana is good, I mean, you have to convince others that it is good. If you think that legalizing marijuana is not good, you have to convince others that it is not a good idea. So it depends on, on you, right? On what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Any question about the activity or the topic that you have? No questions, right? No, that's my question. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, Carlos, before I let you go, guys, I want to tell you that I'm already checking your, your previous paragraph, right? I'm already grading that, and uh, congratulations, because you are improving. You are improving a lot, okay? The most of you are improving. So in the last paragraph that I was just grading, the most of you got 10 or 9 or 8, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing, okay? So congratulations to all of you for that. Thank you so much, Mr. My pleasure, sir. And I hope you do the same or even better in this new paragraph, okay? Thank you so much for being the class and for your participation today. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Yeah, thank you for being responsible and for attending the class. If you have any questions, remember you can ask me on WhatsApp, okay? Have a nice day and take care a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day too. Bye. Bye, Gabriela. Bye, Ivelisse. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too, Diego. Bye, Merlin.